Let us throw open the doors of state government. Let us bring all of you in so that you are partners and not silent. During the day, you could see almost no people of color. And yet, at 5 o'clock, when people are going home, the people of color are coming in to clean and to take care of the offices. It's a terrific thing that we are here in the bright day. And what I'm sure many of you understand now is the importance of advocating for issues that affect you, whether you are African American, Latino, white, or Asian American, whether you are of immigrant background or born here, that the most important advocate for you is you. The Commonwealth Seminar was created five years ago with a clear goal, opening the doors of the State House. The decisions that impact our communities are made at the State House. Healthcare access, education funding, job creation, civil rights. Those policies are decided at the State House. And if our communities are absent from those debates, then our voices are silent on the issues that directly impact our families and neighborhoods. We cannot be silent. We must be advocates and champions. The State House must be our house, too. Let me ask anybody who is not inside to come on inside. There is plenty of room here. I'll say to you what I say to people who visit the State House. The State House is your house. This room is your room tonight, so come on in. Over the past five years, the Commonwealth Seminar has trained more than 500 leaders and built a network of 3,000 diverse leaders from across boundaries of race, ethnicity, and municipalities. We are training a new generation of leaders. One of my enduring memories of the Commonwealth Seminar was at graduation, uh, when all the graduates sat in the Senate chamber in these leather seats. Um, and uh, it was at a moment like that when I contemplated running for office and maybe being one of those elected officials that would sit in those uh, leather seats. So the Commonwealth Seminar is about access. It's about access to people and to ideas. Now I know how to better advocate myself. I got involved in politics. Um, before the seminar, I thought people like me not, you know, have no voice in politics, but I had learned a lot. Uh, I am in a better position as a result of the program. I am going into uh, women in politics and hopefully I'll run for um, office someday. I was born and raised in the country of Haiti. Although I was very, always very interested in politics, I never had a chance to vote in my life. For the, the only elections where I thought I would be able to vote ended in a bloodbath and a couple of my friends were killed with a ballot in their hands. I have been in the United States for 20 years now. I am a registered voter, and I always make sure that I vote at every single election. Our mission and our goal is to open the doors of government, and uh, so we think that that is a very important ideal, and there's some people who really take that to heart because it's very easy to get in and forget and go to the next step and forget about the people behind you. But, you know, really what this program is about is we get there and then we help others in. And it's great to be the first, but you never want to be the last. And so when you are, the, are in those rooms and you are the only, speak up. Tell your story, share your sp perspective. Even when it is not a part of your job description, I challenge you to do it because you have a moral obligation to do it and we are depending on you. you know, how many people here who w have gone through this seminar either this time or in the past feel empowered by this information? Well, you're wrong. You know why? Because you had power before. You're stronger now. So you have more strength to use the power that you have. We value public service and help our graduates find ways to contribute to our Commonwealth. Our alumni are running for public office. They are getting appointed to government positions. They are advocating for change. They are serving the public in countless ways. Step by step, we are building a new network of leaders to create new power. 
you are widening this path right now. You are already leaders in your own right. Your professional accomplishments are already impressive, just downright impressive. Take what you have learned at the Commonwealth Seminar. Bring all that your community has given you. Pack your smarts, pack your energy, pack your tenacity, and I ask you to join me here in the State House. Thank you so much. Thank you.